The days just go too quickly for me in Bali. There's too much to see. From the seashore, we ventured back to the mountain roads. My Asian trails guide, very patient with the number of times I wanted to stop and admire the views. The mountain slopes are home to many small resorts like this, the Champaka Blimbing. I inhaled the fresh air and enjoyed the delights of a cosy retreat with stunning views and cool shady corners. The next day I set off to explore with Gita Bell and her team from Arjuna Travel. They offer visitors the chance to see Bali from the open top perspective of a Kubelwagen. The Kubelwagen was the equivalent of the American Jeep during World War II. It was first designed by Ferdinand Porsche and his son Ferry as a buggy for fun. It then became a military vehicle and today it has a whole new purpose on Bali. Our first stop was a rice farming village where our arrival created quite a stir. It's amazing when you stand here and you actually look across the rice terraces to see them stepping down one after another, after another, after another. I mean, it's been farmed this way for a long time, hasn't it? Yes, yes. And the farmer here, also here in Bali, they have a, a farmer organization. We call it Subak. So this uh, organization already exists a long, long time ago. And this organization will contribute all of the water to every field. So it's an irrigation system that yes. dates back a long way. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it still works pretty well. It still works. Terrace rice fields dominate the landscape here, with rivers and small irrigation streams filling the air with the sound of running water. The village has also diversified into other crops. Cocoa beans. It's one of the other crops grown here is cocoa. And coffee. Life on the land makes you strong. Try carrying 40 kilograms on your shoulders all day. The people here have a simple life and were more than willing to show us some of their daily pursuits. I took a short break to enjoy some fresh coconut. Our Kubelwagen journey continued, passing through an ever-changing landscape. The constant breeze keeps you cool during the day, but be prepared for a chilly ride when the sun starts to sink. The Arjuna team are all skilled drivers, so you can just sit back and enjoy the scenic ride. Just when I was beginning to wonder what surprises we'd find up ahead, we chanced upon the last day of the famous Galungan Festival, Bali's major feast and celebration of good over evil. The sacred temple dances are performed by girls yet to reach puberty, and the air resonates with gongs and drums. Our journey continued higher up to our next stop. The Pachung Mountain Resort is located in the quaint village of Baturiti on the slopes of the Pachung Valley. Forty rooms that hug a steep mountain cliff and are connected by a small tram lift. It all overlooks a sea of rice terraces, gardens and lotus ponds. Peter told me there are also several lakes in these mountains, like this one, Buyan. Peter, we've had a great day today. I mean, it's a really fun way to see Bali, isn't it? 
it's the best way to see Bali because you feel like you're in the middle of the people. If you drive in an open car, especially these Volkswagens, you can look into the houses, you can smell what's happening on the island, you really get contact with the people, plus you can take roads, which other cars don't take because they're very stable. Normally only four-wheel drives can do this, but you have the advantage of the open car. Who would know where the road would take me next? <laughs>